Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Andre back again with another West Ham episode. This is episode five. If you guys have enjoyed the series so far or any series in my channel, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell to get notified anytime I do post. We're getting so, so close to 100 subscribers. We're like eight away as of recording. We're 92 subs right now. We're eight away from 100 subscribers. So make sure to click that subscribe button. It, it will help a lot. But anyways, let's get into the video. So there's been a little bit of delay from both my series, my English chat and the West Ham career mode. If you guys did not see my video, I did post a video uh, of an announcement basically saying that I would be canceling my English chat for sure. This is because I felt like I wasn't giving my 100% to neither series. So I wanted to focus on one. West Ham was the first one I had decided to do. So um, we stuck with it. Well, I asked you guys uh, what you guys think we should do with West Ham and here's what you guys said. So, so I'm going to take you guys through the comments. You guys left so many comments. Like you wouldn't even believe that. You guys left so many comments just for the West Ham series and as you can see um yeah no comments uh shout out to Jay back for commenting but uh he didn't comment what I was looking for but it's okay guys I understand um I'm just gonna go ahead and continue it this is just a little joke for you guys but yeah Jay back uh thank you for commenting wasn't what I was asking but it's completely fine um so yeah basically in this video I was trying to ask if you guys want me to continue the West Ham series or start a new one but you guys didn't really say anything um so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the right thing probably just finish it and then after that, I will go ahead and ask you guys if you guys want to see a new series. But anyways, let's get into the career mode. Okay, so we're back after my silly little joke. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and look at uh, what happened in the last episode because it has been a while. So last episode, we did play one, two, three, four, five. We did had five games. I think, I'm pretty sure we sent three and we did play two. So we picked up uh, three victories, one draw in the Europa League and then one loss in the Premier League. So it was an all right episode. Wasn't the best. We could have done a little bit better. But anyways, looking forward to this episode, actually. We do have two UEL games and three Premier League games. So I did decide we're going to play against Real Ape because last time we did play against Young Boys and we're going to be playing against Wolves. And the other games will be simmed. So yeah, that's a look for the, this episode. Let's look at the season stats and the objectives. As you can see up here on the screen, we do have the season stats from last episode. So currently we do have Samba on 11 goals. He's been in amazing form. This is the Premier League, by the way. We, he does have more goals, but we're doing mainly the Premier League for the season stats. But anyways, he's been in amazing form. If you guys have seen so far, 11 goals in a couple of games. Top assists, we do have Jesse Lingard. And top clean sheets, we do always have a couple of players, but we always put Declan Rice captain. But anyways, let's go to the season objectives. So as you guys know, we always put the season objectives at the start of every episode updated. So as you can see here, uh, I don't really want to commentate over them because I, I don't want to waste more time. But yeah, 11, uh, for 11 out of 20 goals for Sam Ball. Kalu has one goal contribution out of 10. Uh, uh, Jesse Lingard has five goal contributions out of 18 that we're asking for him. And Philippe Anderson does have one goal out of eight games. And as for Hammers to Champo, we just need to qualify for the Champions League for the objective. But anyways, let's get into the episode. The first thing we're going to do here, we do have a youth squad report and a multi scout report. So this game usually doesn't like us and doesn't really give us the best players. But we do have a couple good players actually here. They're just all not high rated enough. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them there for a little while. As for the multi scout report, this is where the game really hates us. He doesn't give us any good players whatsoever. And... Nope, of course we don't. Anyways, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to the first game. So right before we go into our first game, I wanted to let you guys know that we did do a collab with Henry or HRS underscore games. So if you guys have not checked it out, as you can see the thumbnails on this, sorry, on the screen right here, uh, we, we both made a video. Mine was on Liverpool, his was on uh, Manchester United. So make sure to go check that out. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave um, his video on right here, on the top here, and then the other videos in my channel. So go ahead and check it out. But anyways, yeah, check it out. It was really fun. We do really, really wanna do it again, but we do wanna see your support of any teams you guys want us to do. Leave some comments down in my video, mainly also in his video. And if you're not subscribed to Henry, make sure to go subscribe to him, but anyways. Moving on to this game, we're going to be playing against Real Ave. I did decide to play against them since last episode. We, I'm pretty sure we didn't. Did we play against them? No, we didn't. So we're going to play this game. Uh, we're going to go with the starting lineup as per usual. But um, I think we like to give some youngsters here a chance, like Ben Johnson to get his chance. And yeah, that's it. We're going to give, I guess, just Ben Johnson, give him some game time. As uh, we do want to risk Sufa for the Premier League games. That's what we care about more. But anyways. Let's get into this game, not wasting any more time. Let's get this victory, boys. If you guys notice, you guys can't really hear anything. That's because um, some, sometimes the game just messes up the audio. So I, I went ahead and muted it. But after this game, I will uh, exit FIFA and reopen it. And that's when it'll fix. But anyways, looking ahead, we are in first place with seven points. Um, three points above second place, BSG Young Boys. So we're looking to get another victory here today. And as you can see, we have a different hat on today. We usually wear a beanie, but we want to wear something else. That way you guys don't see the same old thing. I kind of regret it. I kind of want to wear the beanie now because it looks better on me. But yeah, um, if you guys didn't know, 
we got a bus cut. If you guys didn't know, go check out my other videos before, like my first video, I did have longer hair. So we did that just because we wanted to see how the hair grows out. But anyways, it's enough about me. Into this game, we really do want to focus on this Europa League campaign. Try to win it in case we don't finish top four. But if we don't finish top four, I'm just a huge disappointment and I should be sacked, right? But anyways, it's going to be a tough, tough game. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully, Sambal continues to form with the new kits. Get out corner here. Jared Bowen to take it. We never score from corners. We need to score from a corner. And it's Jared Bourne. It's a suit check. And no, that still doesn't happen. But Jared Bourne receives it again. Is he outside? Nope, it's not counting as outside. And he's just a deal. He's a deal running down the wing. Come back inside. He's a deal. Get a finish. It's a great, actually, it's actually a pretty great shot. I didn't lie. It's an all right shot from Mr. Diop. And he just can't get it away. Goes over the bar. And we started off well so far. Uh, maybe like 10 minutes in. Two good attacks. We just got to continue. Hopefully get these goals. Speaking of which, Declan Rice. Into Jesse Lingard. I meant to give it to Jared Bowen, but anyways, it's into Jesse Lingard. Lingard, you gotta find that man. You gotta find that man, Sambal. The magic man, Sambal. Sambal on the ball. He's gonna get a goal. And he doesn't get a goal. I was ready about to celebrate. Oh, Sambal's been in amazing form. I don't know how he missed that, but it's a great. Oh shit. He's a great. It's a great shot from Sambal. Unlucky to not score that, bro. You do have the ball now. Arias tries to get it away. Into Felipe Augusto. Felipe Augusto on the ball. The captain of the team. Into Morcillo. Morcillo to race, race into Geraldes, Geraldes, but Ben Johnson tries to win it and he doesn't win it, and now it's Pereira, Pereira on the ball, Pereira into Morici, Morici into Felipe Augusto, Geraldes, Pereira, into Geraldes, great switch by Tukuntra, Tukuga, and they score a goal, bro, I don't know how that happened, to be honest, beautiful, beautiful play by them, just, it just pisses me off that every time a team gets their first shot against us, they just do manage to score, and it's a, it's a beautiful goal. Like I said, you guys can take a look at it here again. It's a beautiful team play. Great switch by Heraldes into Contrao, into Guga. Simple finish. No way he's missing that. Messier should have done better, but we do go down 1-0 at home to Real Ave. Let's turn this around, boys. Come on. Here on the ball. Jesse. Jesse. Someone needs to open up. Someone needs to open up. Jesse Lingard. Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen. Okay, we gotta relax. Declan Rice. Okay, now it's actually Thomas to check. Into Declan Rice. Jared Bowen. Have a shot. Jared Bowen. That's a horrible, horrible shot. I want to score a banger. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I haven't scored a banger in a while. Looking kind of dangerous today. So, some to check. Back into Jared Bowen. Jesse Lingard. I see Ben Johnson making that run. It's Ben Johnson. Into Jared Bowen. Beautiful play by West Ham. It's Jared Bowen. Are you going to Jared Bowen? Jared Bowen comes to tap. Jared Bowen, please get a goal. Jared Bowen. Oh, that's a great tackle, but it's still Jesse. Jesse comes back. Jesse Lingard. Oh, we do lose the ball. That's a beautiful, beautiful play by us. We just couldn't finish. Great block by the defender. But, anyways, we are at halftime. 1 0 down. Ah, boys, unlucky to not get that last goal right there. It was a beautiful, beautiful play. Great block by the defender, but it's 1 0. Hopefully, in the second half, we do a little bit better. You need to shine. You always shine. Geraldes. Come on, someone make a good tackle. Pereira. Okay, that's dangerous. You said Geraldes. You said the up with a great interception. That was Jared Bourne. Declan Rice. I see Todd Camwell on the other side. Can we get it to him? Yes, it's Camwell. Simple by Camwell. Camwell. Into football. Junior football. Come on, create something. Football. Samba, I see you making that run. Firpo, into Samba, come on, score. Let's go, Samba never lets us down. That's just, I don't even know how many goals he has in the whole season, because I know he doesn't have 12, but Samba gets the goal, and then they go by him. It's just, he's carrying right now. He's our best player, easy by far. Firpo with a great cross, by the way, who hasn't really done too much so far since we signed him, but I'm glad he's doing well now. With easy cross for Junior Firpo, he sees Samba easily, takes a touch, and he just finishes it into the bottom right of the goalkeeper. And we do go 1-1. Let's try to get another goal. We want to get all three points here. Let's go, boys. Sambal. Great intercession with the Sambal. Now it's Todd Canwell. Todd Canwell. Back into Sambal. <sighs> Horrible touch. But it's still Sambal. Sambal wins it back. No way. He's going to get a break. Sambal. Is he going to finish? Sambal. Easy finesse. Come on. Let's go, Sambal. Into the top right corner. We do take the lead within five minutes, boys. What a great turnaround for the game. Sambal just... He's too good, guys. He's way too good. Easy finish for him. He loses the ball, but he wins it back straight away. And he just can't be stopped when he's on that run. 1-on-1 -on -one against the goalkeeper. It's 2-1. We take the lead. Easy finish for Samba. Let's continue and get this victory. So now we're 2-1 up. I want to make some substitutions, give other players a chance. So, Macias, want to go ahead and put in. Um, let's give... Hmm, let's give Philippe Anderson. He needs some... Let's take off Jesse Lingard. Put Philippe Anderson there. He needs some confidence. Try to get... So he can get more goals in the prem. And it's Kalu, our super sub. So, Kalu, if you guys didn't know, he's our super sub. You guys will see. Just trust me. You guys haven't seen it yet, but he will be amazing. Just wait. But anyways... Let's see if the subs do anything. Hopefully, we get this victory and get more goals. Difficulty, they score from anywhere. And so, cross it into Matthews. And then we do clear it out. And that's Philippe Anderson. 
I want to go off in the road, but I don't know if he's fast enough. Okay, Philip Anderson is fast enough. Philip Anderson. <gasps> this is a chance, Philip Anderson. Get another goal in this season. Philip Anderson on the ball. I don't know what foot he is. Spoon go with his left foot shot. And Philip Anderson does get a goal from the counter attack straight away. Straight from the substitution, his first play, he does get a goal. Trying to get his confidence up for the Premier League because the objectives only do count in the Premier League, at least for us. But yeah, great to see him back in the squad. Uh, I don't, to be honest, I didn't see him to be back in the squad, but you guys did decide that you guys wanted to keep him, so we do have him here, and he's he's improving little by little, which is good as all. He gets a second goal in our competitions of this season. It's three one. Let's continue and get the victory. So after a tricky start, as you guys can see, we are winning 3-1 and I'm glad that we didn't have this turnaround because we have been doing so good in this series and I just thought we're going to start doing shit. But anyways, he said the other does win the ball and I see Macias. Macias, you have to get your goal here. Macias, 1v1 against the defender. What are you going to do? Macias, cuts inside. And it's still Macias. Get that finish shot in. Macias. And it's over. 4-1. It hits the post, but it's still in. Macias gets his confidence goal, our consolation goal. 76 minutes in. There's still 15 minutes left to go. Maybe we can get another goal. But anyways, Macias. Great to come back into the side with confidence and get that goal. Great play by, um, who was it? I forgot who won the ball. I think it was Isad Diop. Great pass by Isad Diop, I believe it was. And Macias, he's a goal getter, as you guys can see. The Mexican, the young Mexican here at West Ham. Gets a finish, hits the post and in. Philippe Anderson wins it though. Philippe Anderson? No way, they're just choking right now. Okay, but we do lose it here. Guga. Okay, Suchek wins it back. Suchek, it's a Philippe Anderson. No way, we're gonna get another goal. Philippe Anderson. He's gonna get his brace, Philip Anderson, and he's back. I think he's back, boys. Philip Anderson back here in the West Ham kit, shining here. Gets his brace. Can he get a hat trick? Maybe. There's still 10 minutes left to play at home. Finally, starts getting amongst the goals. I'm kind of glad he is. Maybe he can get a uh, starting berth if um, Camwell doesn't do too well. Because Dingard, I don't think, I think he's gonna continue to do well. But Camwell has dropped in form a little bit, but you know, he's good too. But so it's gonna be a really tough decision throughout the whole season, who to start and who to bench. But Philip Anderson is showing us he does deserve here in the squad. Another great goal by him. And it's, the game should be over. We do wanna get more goals if we can, but yeah. 5-1, let's continue, boys. To Pereira, great tackle by Rob Holding, and he's gonna win it back. Three minutes left to play, come on. We don't wanna concede here. So check with the ball. <gasps> what, how is that a foul? Oh my God, I wanted to get one last goal before the game ends, but they do have another free kick. We just need to defend this well. We don't want to concede and embarrass ourselves because we always, you guys know, we always find a way to concede and we don't want that today. And it's they fake me again. And Santos with a shot. And it's actually a pretty good shot, I didn't lie, but it goes over the post and the game's over. We just don't want to give it away here. And we, of course, we're about to give it away. But yeah, it's back to Messi here. Two minutes of stoppage time. We can actually still get a goal here. It's Thomas Suchek. Suchek on the ball. Suchek, just hold it. I see Philippe Anderson making that run. No way he's going to get his hat trick. Philippe. Philippe Anderson. For his hat trick. Come on. Get a hat trick. Philippe Anderson. No, he misses his chance to get a hat trick. Oh, that would have been a perfect episode for him today. But it's a great shot nonetheless. Great, great play by us. Philip Anderson, just unlucky to not get his hat trick today. But this should be the end of the game. Let's go ahead and send this part. And just wait for the ref to blow the whistle so we can celebrate victory. That should be 10 points for us in the Europa League. And we should stay at the top of the table unless we're going to win the ball here. No, we don't. So we do win 5 1. Brilliant, brilliant game by Philip Benson. Also, brilliant, brilliant game by Sambal. Obviously, Sambal is always having brilliant games, but unlucky to not get his hat trick. But, anyways, we do win 5 1. Let's go to the next game. So, right before our first Premier League game of the episode, I do want to show you guys the league table. Just a real little reminder that we are in first place by one point, actually, which I actually didn't know that we're lower in the league table. But, yeah, we're one point ahead of Aston Villa, but and we're both a game behind everyone else. So, if we do win this game, we'll remain top as long as we continue winning. So, we're playing against 10th place Fulham. And we're going to sim it, like I said, so I'm hoping for a victory. Our team's looking pretty solid. The only worries is that, I mean, obviously, Sam Ball's in great form, but he is pretty low rated. But he's, I think he's done well in the sim so far. The main, main person that does worry me is Mesler. He's a good goalkeeper, but you know how it is with FIFA. It's kind of stupid. So if you're low rated, you do pretty bad. So I'm hoping we don't do the bad here. So when I'm going to sim, please get this victory. It's against Fulham. Come on, guys. And we get a victory. 3-1. Jared Bourne, Suchik, and Cam will get a goal. And yeah. Uh, great victory from the boys. That's three points. The league table. Let's look at the league table. See how Aston Villa did. But I'm pretty sure we're still top of the table. We should be with uh, 29 points or 30. I'm not sure. I remember. Uh, yeah, we're top of the table with 29 points. And Aston Villa did drop points actually, so that's looking pretty good for us. We're now uh, four points ahead of second place. We do get on to our second play game of the episode and the last one as well. So we'll be playing against sixth place Wolves, who I think actually have a pretty decent squad from last time I remember. So. Same squad, but we did sell Yamalenko to them. Augusto and Eggstein also joined the squad, as well as Daily and Blin. And that's pretty much it. So, the squad's looking pretty decent. And our squad is looking a little bit better, in my opinion. So, I actually want to 
Should we keep the same lineup? Yeah, we're gonna keep the same lineup. We'll probably put in uh, Freddie Patterson, who did have a great start to the f in the first game. So I would do want to give him a chance again. Should we put in Timber? Uh, it's it's a very important game. Should we put him in though? I don't know. Let's give him a go. He has not played in a while, so we're gonna take off Rob Holding because he said the opposite probably our best in the back. But anyways, we're hoping for another victory here, another two points. We do want to go this whole episode without losing, hopefully, and just not dropping any points in general. We want to remain first place, even though we're four points ahead. But anyways, let's get into the match and get this get this victory. Who else didn't have light but my man, Sam Ball. So as you can see, the audio is back. We did go ahead and fix that. 11 goals in the Premier League. Amazing, amazing performances by him. I just can't believe he's doing so well. So shout out to Caleb Football who did suggest that once again. San Antonio and rely on Sam Ball. And it was a questionable decision at first, but now we know we made the right decision as he just cannot stop scoring. He's a goal machine right now. So yeah, we're playing against Wolves today, like I've said earlier, and we, we want to get this victory against Wolves. They are a team to watch out for. They're always a tricky team to play against in real life and in FIFA as well. So they have some good players like Daniel Podence, who I'm actually a really big fan of. I do want to see more of him in this new, in this next Premier League season in real life. So yeah, we're the top scoring team with 26 goals. But anyways, let's just get into the game. Let's get this victory, boys. Time to check into Declan Rice. Gotta find some space. Jesse Lingard. It's Jesse. Time to check. Come on. Time to check on that run. Can you get a goal? Time to check. Easy finish, Tommy Suchek, finish shot into the bottom right corner and we do get a goal, 1-0 lead. Tommy Suchek who now is apparently scoring not like last season when we did need him to score for our objective, but anyways. Suchek does get a goal, it's 1-0 against Wolves away from home. Great finish, great play by our team. And just simple finish like I said earlier, like, he goes on that run, remains calm, takes a touch into the inside and then just finishes it onto the bottom right. Goalkeeper had no chance, but yeah. We do take a 1-0 lead, 1-0 lead here. And hopefully, we can hope for more. Before the half ends, come on. Second rice. Second rice. I do see Sambo on the run. Can he get another goal? First 12 goal of the season. And it's a great save by Ruben Patricio. But we do get a great shot in. We're going to get one last corner before the half. But sad to not see Sambo score. We're just going to do a random cross here. Jared Bowen. Into Tommy Suchek. It's a clearance. But come on, Jared Bowen. Second cross. No, it's cut inside. Let's go take a shot. Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen on the ball. Jared Bowen. I want to get a shot here. He's a lefty, but I'm still going to take a shot. Jared Bowen. Actually, this turn. Jared Bowen. Get the shot, Jared Bowen. Ah, no, that's, I don't know what I was doing. I want to score a banger, like I said, but it is halftime. We are winning 1-0. Great half from the boys. Unlucky to not score a couple goals, but Wolves are not doing too well here. Um, we did make a couple mistakes, but we got lucky that our defense is doing really good. Timber's playing really well. Uh, so it's two chicken that rise there in the midfield, but yeah. 1-0, let's get into the second half. Hopefully, get this victory. Mason Greenwood, Mason Greenwood signed for Wolves, that's crazy. Anyways, uh, Mason Greenwood running down the wing. Tell Kenwood, come on. We can't have him score. After we're shocked to see him, we can't have him score. Semedo on the ball. Semedo, oh, why can't I change to Suchek? Augusto, into Polens, back into Augusto, into Raul Jimenez. And they try to get it into whoever that was, but we do get the ball here now. It's Sufa. Sufa. Oh, we give it away. Sufa, into Edgestine. Edgestine into Raul Jimenez. He's trying to take a shot, but he turns. Edgestine with a shot, and it's a banging goal, boys. Oh my god. How does he score that banger? There's a defender right in front of him and he just couldn't block it. Fair play, fair play. Amazing goal by Edge's team, but that's the, those are the goals I want to score, dog. I've always scored tap-ins or like inside the box goals and the CPU just rubs it in our face and scores a banger like we want to do, but great play by Wolves. He managed great to hold it back into Edge's team and right out of the box into the top right corner. No chance for Mezzo to save it, but anyways, it's 1-1. We gotta get a goal. We don't want... Uh, Draw game or lose in that matter, but anyways, let's continue like this. To check into Tarkanwa. Tarkanwa does find Jesse Lingard. Can he get to take the lead? Jesse Lingard. Oh, great save by Rui Patricio. I just sometimes I'm at loss for words, but when I make some substitutions, like I said, I want to give Philip Anderson a goal. He did perform amazing last game. Last time he played against Real Ave, want to put Conor Gallagher in, give him a chance as well. And I think it's gonna be it for substitutions. Kalu didn't do so well. Uh, he didn't do much in that first game, but we're, uh, I want to give Baron a, Bowen a go. Try to get him back into form. Try to get some goals with him because he doesn't score too much. But yeah, Philippe Anderson coming in on the left and Gallagher at CDM. So hopefully we can take this lead again. Rice. I see Sufa on the ball. Sufa, who's just trying to find Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen, is he offside? I don't think he's offside. Jared Bowen. Jared Bowen. He's going to cut it inside. Jared Bowen. Find that shot, Jared Bowen. Get up here. Isn't he left footed? I swear he's left footed. We're, we have to check because that's if he's left footed, there has to be a better shot than that. Come on, Jared Bowen. What foot are you? He's left footed. Either way, he's weak. He's five star weak foot. How is he getting that horrible of a shot on his left foot, on his preferred foot? But we just need to stop trying to score bangers. We need to win this game. We don't want to concede it and we need to go come 
win the ball and get the ball. Now it's Danny Ponis. Danny Ponis looking dangerous here in this game. And it's right. Augusto. And Joaquin Menes has been following us all game. Come on. Don't let him score. Okay. Great. Great. Diop. Great. No. It's Greenwood. Greenwood. Don't let him get a shot. Great tackle by Diop. And he does this in here. Sufa. Don't choke it. No. Come on. Get it out. Augusto. Interesting. No. He can't score another goal. Oh, and it goes past the post. We have like two minutes left. Because it's going to be stubborn time. We can get a goal from this last attack. Come on. Timber. Declan Rice. You gotta be careful here. It's just Lingar. Just Lingar. Hold it. Just Lingar. Ah, bro, we can't lose it. We're not gonna score now when we drop points. Why do we always drop points in every episode? We can't just go an episode without losing or tying a single game. It's a medal. Come on. Win it. Gallagher. Gallagher wins it. Come on. Who's gonna help him out? Gallagher. I see Sambal. 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 It's just it. The ref. I'm on the attack. This game is so stupid, bro. I'm literally on the counter. I'm about to go. It's at the box of Jesse Lingard and the ref blows the whistle and I think we we're robbed. We we're robbed from that last attack. I don't know what I'm doing with my hat, but we do draw one to one. Disappointing the ref. There's something wrong with the ref, but one one, we do drop two points, but we should still be top of the table, so let's look at the league table just to confirm it. So we're getting to the tail end of this episode, so we're gonna go ahead and do our question of the video. We sometimes forget, but we're gonna go ahead and try to bring it back as much as possible. So, um, but the Euro's over, and I don't really wanna ask about the Gold Cup. I do wanna ask you guys, what's been the best transfer so far? So today, as of uh, July the 14th, personally, my favorite signing so far has been Donnarumma PSG. Donnarumma is such a good goalkeeper, and the fact that he went on a free to PSG is such a madness, and he's gonna have an amazing season. I think PSG might be contenders for the Champions League this year, but that's not the question right now. The question is, what is the best signing so far in your opinion? It might be either Donnarumma or actually, what's his name? Sumare to Leicester, but as of right now, it's Donnarumma for me. But anyways, make sure to leave it down in the comments, the best signing so far this season. But anyways, right before this game that we're going to say, we finished it with our paid games this episode. So we're in first place with 10 points, Young Boys right behind us with 5 points. So we're going to go ahead and save this game just so in case it crashes because it tends to crash a lot. And hopefully we're looking for the victory. Young boys didn't give us a problem in the first game. We did beat them. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and see me real quick. See how it goes. But hoping at least a victory. We don't want to draw. And we pick up a 2-0 victory. Samba again scores and Jared Bowen. So 13 points for us in the Europa League. We probably for sure passed already. And hopefully we can get far into this competition. Moving on to our last game of the episode, which will also be a sim. We'll be against Swansea City, who are in 18th place, which are doing pretty bad. I don't expect them to do this bad, but yeah. Um, we're currently in second place due to games played. Uh, Aston Villa are a game ahead of us, so we do have a game in hand here. Hopefully, we get this victory. They're against they're in 18th place, but you know how we do in Sims. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and sim it. Should we make any subs? Nah, the team is doing good on Sims right now. We don't want to make any substitutions. So Sambal has gone to 75. If you guys haven't noticed, but yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and sim it. I'm gonna get this victory. Come on, I'm that confident. And yes, we get a 3-1 win. Kenwell scores again. He scored. He's been scoring a couple of Sims. So as well as Suchek. And who scored the other goal? Jared Bowen, so our team, our team is doing better on The Sims compared to uh, a couple episodes back. But Jared Bowen has scored a lot in this today, and so has Camwell. But I think I'm still gonna give it to Sam Ball again for third episode running. Gets player of the episode in my opinion. But yeah, looking at the league table, we're in first place with 33 points. But let's take a look at the season stats and the fixtures for next episode. So as for the season stats, as you can see on the screen, not too many changes. Sam Ball remains with 11 Premier League goals as he didn't score any goals in the Premier League today. He did score a couple. In the Europa League, he does just I'm reading out the stats to you guys. I'm gonna tell you he has 18 goals in our competitions, 11 in Premier League, 7 in the Europa League, which is amazing to say the least. As for assists, we do have the only improvement in this season stats today. Of uh, Justin Lingard does get another assist with six assists now, and top clean sheets. We didn't get any clean sheets in the Premier League, so Declan Rice remains with four. But, anyways, let's go ahead and look at the fixtures for next episode. So, looking forward to next episode, as you can see, it's a jam packed month with eight games. So, we're gonna be paying four this time. We've never paid four in an episode before, so. Let's see, who are we going to play against? So, I'm pretty sure we're going to play the Palace game, because it is, it is a, a derby pretty much. We're going to play against Isaiah Akmar, even though we already passed. We're going to play against Leeds, and then we're going to play against Watford. So, we're going to say Norwich, Bournemouth, Nottingham, and Burnley. So, it's going to be, like I said, a jam-packed episode, maybe a little longer than usual. But yeah, it is December next month, so that means we're getting close to January. So, the episode after the next one will be getting into January. So, make sure to leave your transfer suggestions down in the comments if you guys want to see any new signings. But yeah. Uh, it's been a successful episode. We just picked, we just dropped two points out of a possible one, two, three, four, five, fifteen points. We got uh, thirteen points. No, twelve points. Thirteen, yeah. We got thirteen points out of a possible fifteen, which is not too bad. We're doing a little bit better, so yeah. Like I said, the English chat career mode is cancelled. Um, and you guys didn't say anything about this, so I'm like, 
I, I'm really enjoying this one a lot. Uh, I enjoyed the English chat as well, but this one I'm enjoying a little bit more. So we're gonna go ahead and continue it. So uh, once this series ends, we'll go start ahead and start a new series right before FIFA 22. We'll probably be the last one, maybe. I don't know. I kind of want to continue if we do have to. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed the channel or any series in my channel, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell to get notified anytime we do post. We're getting extremely, extremely close, like I said earlier, 200 subs, eight more subs to go as of right now. But yeah, make sure to click that sub button as it does help a lot. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, um, make sure to click that like button once again. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a nice day and chamos.